It's a great pleasure to be with you again. I would like to take us through the Bowell assessment using the Bristol Stool Chart. But before we go ahead, let's just have a look at the Bristol Stool Chart. The Bristol Stool Chart is a seven point scale tool designed to assess normal or altered Bowell activity. It is rated on a scale of one to seven. Type one stool is hard, separate with love, and it's considered as severe constipation. Type two is lumpy and sausage-like, and it's categorized as mild constipation. Type three is near normal, is sausage-like with cracked surface. Type 4 is smooth and is considered normal. Type 5 is a soft blob with clear-cut edges. It's near normal. Type 6, we have a mushy, consistent stool and it's considered mild diarrhea. And we have the last one, type 7 liquid consistent and it's type it's considered severe diarrhea now let's go back to the oski you have eight minutes allotted to cover the skill it is a silent station meaning you don't need to verbalize what you're doing your scripts will be will be assessed. You need to make sure your writing is clear and legible. If you make any mistake, draw a single line to strike through and append your signature. As we all know, this is a new skill. It is important that you read your instructions to get to understand what is expected of you. Most likely, you will be given a scenario and you will be required to identify a stool type, the possible causes, and prepare a plan of care to resolve this. We'd like to make use of the sample as a guide. So the sample scenario, you are the nurse working in the medical units. You are assigned to care for AJ, whose primary diagnosis is adenocarcinoma of the prostate. AJ is on tramadol, 100 milligram, every six hourly. From the previous assessment history, AJ do open his bowel once every day. AJ has complained of not opening his bowel in the last seven days. But before you end your shift, AJ opened his bowel and you have the picture below. Identify the type of stool and the possible causes. Provide a plan of care to resolve or relieve AJ based on the identified stool type. Now, let's get started. Based on the picture, as regards the marking criteria, the focus is on type 1 and 2, 6 and 7, which, is, which can be categorized as A and B. C and D. So based on the picture on the scenario, this can be identified as type one stool. What are the possible causes? It can be as a result of dietary choices that lack fiber, such as legumes, fruits, and vegetables. Dehydration could be a cause. 
inadequate fluid intake. Medications such as opioid analgesic could be a contributory factor. Lack of activity or lack of exercise could also be considered. Some psychological factors such as emotional stress and lack of privacy when you need to use the toilet, incorrect posture as well could contribute to constipation. So now that we've identified the causes, let's prepare a plan to resolve this. You have to mention minimum of five points and that will give you a full mark. So considering dehydration, I will advise AJ to increase his fluid intake. I will advise AJ on mobility and activity. I will advise AJ to take diets rich in fiber, such as fruits and vegetables, based on the recommended standard. I will advise AJ to assume standard correct posture with toilet use. And if the use of bedpan is required, I will support AJ with pillow to maintain an upright position and make him comfortable for toilet use. I will ensure privacy and dignity is maintained at all times as regards the use of toilet. I will propose laxative to be prescribed for AJ if indicated. And that's all for the type A. For type B, which is a form of constipation as well, the causes is still the same thing. And the, the prepare plan, the plan to resolve this is still the same thing. So now let's move to the diarrhea type, which is C or D or type six and seven. It's still going to be likely you'll be given a scenario of a patient having a form of diarrhea and you provided with a picture so let's go with the picture of D as the stool type provided for you. And to identify this, this is a form of severe diarrhea. What are the possible causes? Food poisoning, overflow. Overflow is when there is inadequate movement of stool for weeks or days and the stool is impacted in the bowel and we have leakage of stool through some through the bowel movement so that is what is meant by overflow and sometimes it's even beyond the control of the person involved medications can also result such as antibiotics we have health care associated acquired infections like norovirus or clostridium difficile. We can have, um, this can be some of the causes for this malabsorption can also be a contributory cause. So what is the solution for this? For every form of diarrhea, you consider it as a risk for infection until proven otherwise, or you have an assurance that it is not related to diarrhea based on the history or situation. So the first solution for this is we want to go for isolation. Isolation and universal standard precaution in terms of hand hygiene, use of PPE, use of gloves to prevent the spread. 
we want to isolate the concerned patients and probably put them in the side room with access to toilet to prevent the spread or curtail the spread. We need to consider taking a stool sample and sending it for investigation to find out the cause. If it is indicated, I will propose anti-motility to be prescribed. For the time being, I will request, I will advise that the diet be reduced in, in terms of eating fiber, fruits and vegetables until the diarrhea is resolved. I will ensure perianal integrity is maintained by cleaning with soft wipe and pass dry. I will also encourage privacy, dignity, and access to toilets, close proximity to toilets. I will continue to assess the bowel function until it's resolved. And that is all is expected or you're expected to do as regards bowel assessment using the Bristol Stool Chat. Thank you for watching and that's all we have for you. If you find this useful, click like, subscribe and give it a comment. Bye for now.